Hello, I'm Tom Hall and I'd like to welcome you to my kitchen here in Santa Rosa, California where this morning I'm going to start the uh, preparation for one of my favorite dishes. It's Hungarian goulash, or as they call it in Hungary, goulash levesh, levesh meaning soup. And this is one of my favorite dishes. It's a great dish to make on a cold, uh, cold day. And it's a very popular dish throughout Hungary and actually throughout a lot of uh, Eastern Europe you will see uh, variations of this goulash recipe in various countries such as Austria and Romania and Poland etc. And it's a very simple dish to make. Um, as I understand it, it was a dish that originated on the Hungarian pusta and that's spelled P-U-S-Z-T-A and the Hungarian pusta is this large area of grassland that is in the uh, center of Europe. It's the largest grassland area in Europe, if I'm not mistaken. And you can think of it similar to the Great Plains in the United States. And the back uh, hundreds of years ago, there were, you know, the equivalent of cowboys that were riding around herding cattle. And they would make this popular dish called goulash. So uh, with that being said, we're going to uh, begin the preparation and I'll put on my little chef's hat here and let's uh, look at the recipe or let's uh, actually look at the ingredients okay okay the most important ingredient of course is the meat and uh, what you're looking at here it's uh, one pound of uh, beef stew meat and um, I've thawed it out and it's uh, very nice cuts of meat uh, the other things, the ingredients that make up the goulash levesh is the uh, oil. You're going to need three tablespoons of oil. You're going to need one large onion. You're going to need two cloves of garlic. And you're going to need two bay leaves. And in addition, you're going to need half a teaspoon of caraway seeds, half a teaspoon of marjoram, and you're going to need some salt, one tablespoon half a teaspoon of paprika or paprika depending on how you want to call it in addition to those spices and the meat you're going to need uh, some celery the celery is uh, oh, you're only going to need three maybe three stalks you're going to need three carrots you need a parsnip or a uh, parsley root you need some uh, tomatoes and some potatoes and uh, a green pepper it's going to need a green pepper and you're going to need uh, well this is just something this is a actually a little uh, paprika that I brought back from Hungary and uh, I like to put this in you'll see this commonly on tables over in Budapest so this will go in the soup uh, toward the end so with that being said let's go ahead and uh, get this meal underway Alright, so uh, when you're going to uh, start the process of making the goulash levis, you want to make sure that you have a nice big pot similar to this one and of course you want to have a nice lid to go with it as well. So what I did was I've heated uh, three tablespoons of oil in here and I have one large chopped onion and I'm going to add that into the uh, hot oil just like that. and. While that is uh, cooking, I'm just going to stir that around a little bit and uh, I'm going to let it uh, get all absorbed into the oil. I have the temperature on high and I'm just going to let this cook for, uh, oh, I'll let it cook for the better part of uh, two or three minutes. Okay, so now that the uh, onions have been cooking for about uh, three or four minutes, you'll see that uh, they're slightly turning brown. And now is a good time to start adding the, some of the other ingredients. I'm going to add the, uh, the recipe calls for two bay leaves. I'm going to add three because they're rather small. And then I'm going to add the spices. Now in these spices, there is half a teaspoon of marjoram. There is half a teaspoon of paprika, one tablespoon of salt, and then there is also, uh, I have to jump over here to my recipe, there's half a teaspoon of caraway seeds in here, and then there's also half a teaspoon of paprika. So we're going to add those ingredients, 
And then I'm going to add the garlic. The recipe calls for two to three cloves of garlic. So now we have the garlic in there. And then last comes the meat. I shouldn't say last because we still have to add some water. But uh, here's the meat. And it calls for one recipe, or the recipe calls for one pound of beef. And you can see the, uh, the size that I'm cutting it up into. So you just throw your beef in there, just like that. You get your beef in, you stir it in with all those spices. It's actually a rather very simple, simple uh, dish to make. And then you want to add one cup of water. And so once you have this going, you just stir it real well, just like that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat down on low, and I'm going to simmer this for about one hour. And then I'll come back and I'll add the, uh, the rest of the vegetables with the exception of the potatoes and some more, some more water. So we'll, uh, we'll be, back in, uh, be back in an hour. Okay, so we're back and the goulash has been cooking almost an hour and I have a special guest in the kitchen. Joining us live from Budapest, Hungary via Skype, we have Edit. Edit, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm making goulash for uh, for dinner tonight. Oh, it's fantastic. You like goulash, don't you? Yes, I like very much. Yeah, goulash is a uh, it's a very popular uh, thing to eat in uh, Hungary. Yes. Yes, it's really very popular. You can eat every restaurant, and it's really very nice. Really. And do they eat uh, goulash? Um, do they eat goulash more in the winter, or do they eat it more in the summer? Or usually, yes. This is our winter soup it's because a... uh, you can eat. You have to eat uh, very hot, and uh, I think it's yes, a winter soup. And the uh, is goulash the main dish? Like, if you have goulash, will you have only goulash for dinner, or do you eat other things also? Uh, yes, I think uh, on one, uh, how can I say, one, one table. Is it one, is it one, one it's one, one thing, dish. one dish? Yes, yes. It's one, one dish, dish. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, because uh, the, with a lot of meat and uh, it's enough. And in goulash, do they only cook goulash with uh, maha or do they also use cherke or polka? Or no, no. shirtej. The best is uh, with maha. The, the maha, the beef. Okay. Yeah. Just for people joining us, uh, for people listening in, maha means beef, and chirke is is chicken, and polka is turkey, and what is <laughs> por pork? Oh, your Hungarian, your Hungarian is very good. <laughs> oh, kosnem <and> sapen. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>, <laughs> Okay, so listen, we're, I understand you have a big English exam tomorrow. Yes, yes, tomorrow I have English exam, so I have to study. Okay, well, good luck on the English exam. Kosnim uh, Sapin and Joestet uh, Kivanok. You are welcome for you to have a nice dinner. No, lunch. Uh, for lunch, no? Yeah, well, I'm going to have it for dinner. Oh, okay. Okay. Kos nice Kosnum Sapen, Najon Pussy. Najon Pussy. See ya. <laughs> See ya.